It is currently about 5 a.m. and we're all checked in and at the airport. Yahoo! Wee! Hey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Maybe we bought the wrong one. Nah, we didn't. Is it? Definitely. First impressions? Yeah, we say freaking coaster. <laughs> I'm not turning around. <laughs> yeah, it's for you. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not turning around. <laughs> I don't want to turn around. What are your first impressions? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. I'm just a bit, yeah, intrigued about the, uh, there's some vibrations and stuff happening, but who knows. Uh, it sounds like exhaust or something, so not too worried about it. <laughs> I still haven't had a look at it. I'm waiting for a moment. Yeah. Seats are neat. Oh my goodness. Do we come suss it out? Yeah. So this is the first time we have seen the bus. Yeah. We bought it online and then we flew to Melbourne. And this is the first time that we've seen it. I think we're both in shock. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh -huh. good. We're happy, but it's just like so nerve-wracking. Okay, seats are cool. I don't even want to get rid of them. They're epic. Retro seats. <laughs> are you like? <laughs> this is so random. This is the most randomest thing we've ever done. <laughs> it's pretty wild, isn't it's it? So wild. <laughs> Very risky. Very risky. All right, we're currently bidding on two coasters. This is the one that we hopefully will get to call home soon. They need to go to the toilet. <laughs> we're about to buy a bus, mom. 
We're still, there's less than a minute. <laughs> for 13 grand, it's not too bad. It's sick if we get it for this. I'm so about this. I'm not the owner of two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have won this item. <laughs> I thought we hadn't got anything. <laughs> Holy shit, You're like I'm at the wedding. <laughs> I actually feel like I'm dreaming. Like, do you feel like you're here right now? Yeah. No. See, look at all these keys. I oh, know what they're for. Vic Fleet return. One, two. Oh, sick. Keys. Three keys. So there's no like beepy things. No. It's all viable like keys. Yeah. That's so old school. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's got a missing radio. We've got a bit of a project on our hands. We do. Engine. Big moment. Is it a 1HZ? Yeah, it's a 1HZ. 1HZ. Check your belts. Timing belt date, 300,000. <laughs> we'll check the oil and stuff in a sec. <laughs> well. Are you happy? Yeah. It's like, it's crazy to be here. And to be like, to, like here. Yeah. And to look at like the space and be like, oh, crazy. Like and we have just, a clean slate. Yeah, I very surreal. And yeah. Overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it is. We obviously have a bit of work to do. One thing at a time. Yeah. But yeah, we'll check out all the oil dipstick and stuff in a sec. Before we can drive absolutely anywhere, we need to get the bus insured because it's currently not insured. We also need to go and change the rego plates. Luckily, Dan has a light rigid. Hi, Paul. My name's Dan. I'm just after getting an insurance policy for a Toyota Coaster bus. Oh. Ho, ho. That was solid. Yes, so solid. That was solid as. Heck yeah. We went for a quick little mission to the shops to get ourselves some snacks and food because obviously there's no cooking facilities in the bus at the moment. There's only seats, so that was good. Okay, today has turned out to be the biggest mission of our lives. Um, we're trying to get the bus registered and insured. And yeah, it's just proving really difficult. A lot of the insurers aren't insuring us until it's converted and we're like, we need insurance. It's currently now 4.30. We were meant to be driving halfway back to SA tonight and then we're gonna be driving halfway tomorrow, but looks like we're gonna be sleeping in the car park. I'm logging on now to try and find some sort of insurance for us and Dan's filling out rego papers. And we've been to like the rego place twice today and yeah we obviously we don't have a car because we're not in our home state so it'll be worth it oh so strong that's good hey so after a bit of a mission we finally got the bus insured and regoed so we could take it for a proper drive which was super exciting we are so excited to have a toyota coaster bus this is a 1991 year model it has a 1hz engine and if you guys have any questions please leave them below or send us a message on instagram and i hope you're enjoying this video i've just found some like paperwork sitting in here and how cute is this i was going through it and this little badge fell out cute i love art <laughs> so sweet i'm taking that as a good sign Today has been a big, big day. We finally got insurance sorted after ringing about six different places. So yeah, now that it's insured, we were able to drive it to another car park. So we're now in like a shopping center car park um, just because there's toilets open until 9 p.m. And we're gonna try and sleep here. The windows don't have like, well, they've got um, curtains back there, but we don't have any like window blackouts or anything. So we're just purely going to be sleeping. As you can see, Dan's already chilling in his bed. Down. But yeah, we'll probably put the beds like back here in the little, if that's comfortable. Otherwise we'll be sleeping down the aisles. Yeah. Um, that is the plan for tonight. We also did buy, so did purchase an emergency bucket. For nighttime wees. For nighttime wees. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, we've just got our Thing, all of our belongings kind of here. We've got a little bit of food. This is home for the night. This is home. This is home. We'll see if we get moved on from this car park. If we do, there's just a Macca's down the road that we can go to. 
But yeah, we are pretty exhausted. It's been a pretty full on roller coaster of a few days just kind of buying the bus on auction, which was intense um, but exciting. And then we couldn't sleep because we were so excited. And then we had to get up early, obviously, to fly to Melbourne this morning. And then it was very nerve wracking buying a bus that we didn't get to see in person beforehand. So a bit of a risky maneuver, a very wild and adventurous one, which is cool. But um, yeah, it definitely, it's been a roller coaster just trying to figure it all out. But so far the bus is really good. Um, it's been starting up really strong which is awesome and obviously when we take it back to South Australia we'll get to go through it all and get it mechanically checked thoroughly and all that kind of thing. We are pretty happy because we know that it's an ex-hospital bus so it should have gotten checked out every year for like roadworthy and all that type of thing. Um, but yeah hopefully we can get it back to SA and yeah that'll be exciting. So tonight we are sleeping on sleeping mats because we need to sleep somewhere. <laughs> Quite nice. Yeah. A little sleepy room. <laughs> oh, cute. Yeah. We got a little sleeping room. We can because we don't have any cooking facilities in the bus. Um, <laughs> there goes my crackers. We've got good old tuna and crackers for dinner. We've got no lights and we didn't pack a torch or anything on the flat. Um, so we're just using the phone light. Um, but yeah, we are all snuggled up in the bus, the bus bed, for our first night in the bus. First night in the bus. <laughs> hopefully it's a good night's sleep and hopefully nobody looks in the windows as we're sleeping in this random car park. At least we do have the curtains though. Like I'm so stoked about that. Imagine if it was yeah. just freaking <laughs> like this. Yeah, imagine. I'd be like, so yeah. Just... Time to relax after a big few days and hopefully get a good night's sleep and wake up tomorrow and sort out another plan. Night night. <sighs> do you want to go head to this end? <laughs> Good morning. So last night we slept in the bus with all the seats in it in a random car park in Melbourne and weirdly enough I had an amazing sleep. Um, we were absolutely exhausted for the last two days because there was so much roller coaster of emotions buying this bus. Feels very surreal still. This is our bus. <laughs> what? <laughs> It was very cute having the curtains all around us. It fully felt like a little bedroom. This is the first time starting the bus from cold. We just slept last night. So big tester. Yeah. Strong. So strong, that's epic. That is so good, hey? Yeah. That's like, didn't even take, it didn't even go or no, anything. No, it was literally just like bang. That's so good. Oh, isn't that relieving? Yeah, that's so nice. That's, that's so nice good. <laughs> just before starting our drive back, we just pumped up the tires because they were a bit low. So we've also checked the oil and coolant and picked up some more oil and things like that just to take with us on the road back. But yeah. All aboard. We are finally on the road, woohoo! We've got some oil to bring with us on the road and some is it demineralized water. Yeah. And some demineralized water, what do you use that for? Um, just to top up the radiator. You can use regular tap water, but demineralized is a bit nicer for the system. So yeah, we've got a few things um, to check on the way home just to make sure that it's running smoothly and all that type of thing. And Dan has his light rigid license because it is a light rigid vehicle at the moment. So luckily when we were back in SA last time, Dan went and got his license. And so, yeah, now we are on the road. He's got a little truck book he has to fill out. And yeah. Yes, I'm We all 
so far we have successfully made it a few hours in the bus and it's driving very well. Stop for some snacks. Dan's got, what have you got? Karen and apple. Health. And I've got crackers and tuna because we obviously just are eating non-perishables on the road because we don't have any kitchen. <laughs> Be so <laughs> well, we have so far had a super successful road trip back to South Australia. We've just stopped in at the Pink Lake, which is pretty cool. So I think we're going to send the drone up and kind of have a look around that. And um, yeah, we're absolutely stoked because the bus just sounds so strong. Touch wood. Where's some wood? We need wood. There's no wood in here. The van is full of wood. Um, wood. Anyway, touch wood. That continues to be strong. Don't worry, I'll go and touch some wood after this. I um unfortunately I am not able to drive the bus yet because you need a light rigid license so luckily Dan has one of those and I'm also not at an age that I can be covered by insurance yet um, we have to do some changes to that so yeah I'll eventually be able to take it for a spin but not for now he's locked out Ta -da! <laughs> good wee yeah also I need to touch wood is there wood out there? <laughs> touch wood. I said the bus is going strong. Is this wood? I touched the wood. Hi. Hi. We've definitely made this place home. <laughs> so messy back here. How did that happen so quickly? I just wanted to take this moment to say thank you so much for supporting our travels. I'm sure some of you might be thinking we're a little bit crazy to have bought a bus unseen at auction. However, we found the perfect bus and we took the risk and we're really excited because we're chasing our dreams and we just want to have wild stories when we're old and wrinkly and we want to be able to look back at our life and say that we took chances, we made mistakes, we went on adventures and most importantly, we want to say that we chose love and freedom over fear. So yeah, really excited for this bus build. So bus man Dan has a little, has a little switch that he can press. And then when he presses it, this happens. How good is that? We have an automatic door if we want it. Otherwise you can flick it across and have it as manual which is also good, filling out his truck book. And I also want to test out sitting in every single one of these seats, so might do that. Might test out this next drive by sitting in another seat, because why not? We have 15 of them, so might as well sit in them all. So I'm sitting right behind the driver. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Good. We'll have a quick uh, 15 minute, half an hour stop and then we'll continue on our travels to Tail and Bend. For dinner tonight, we have peanut butter sandwiches out of our one food bag. And I think Dan's gonna have tuna and crackers. <laughs> the electronic door is very cool, isn't it? Oh, beautiful spot for a rest. Stunning. It's so funny, hey. <laughs> Floor bread. Love that. Bon apple teeth. Dinner. Mm -mm. Just life on the road as a trucker, you know. Just chewing on crackers. <laughs> Me mates coming past. <laughs> Truck. Me mates. How you going? Truck Truck mates. How are you, Steve? <laughs> You got matching books with them. Mm, right, right, see that. Toot toot! All aboard! <laughs> oh, so we are hungry and we have come to the right place. 
So we've just pulled up at the On The Run and it's where kind of all the trucks come to sleep. So we're gonna sleep here too. And because it's nice and dark back there when we turn, we've just realized that we've got internal lights to turn on, which is cool. We'll go and get some food because we're both absolutely starving. Very sadly, Hungry Jack's wasn't open, so we've had to settle with a sandwich for dinner. For second dinner. <laughs> for yeah. second dinner after tuna and crackers. <laughs> we were both absolutely starving, so these sandwiches, do they taste really good? Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> good morning. This morning, we finally got to go. <laughs> Dan got his Hungry Jack's. I got a chai, and then I've got a hash brown in there. Two hash browns. Amazing. So that's breakfast on the road with no cooking facilities. <laughs> We're living that Hungry Jack's life. Mm. Yummy hash brown time. Mm -hmm. mm. mm -mm. <sighs> I feel a little bit more fresher after not having a shower for the last mm. one, two, about three days. We are hitting the road again in a second and we'll be making it back home to South Australia, which is exciting. Thanks for having us on the run. You are a good place to sleep tonight. Doing a quick stop into Repco to get some gearbox oil. It's not hot, is it? Can you just hold that? It's a gearbox. Okay. Yeah, it is, but like it's, they're supposed to get hot. Okay. I don't know how hot. Don't burn yourself. No, no, it's not that hot. Welcome to my new life. <laughs> the amount of hours I will now spend under this thing. Yeah. Okay. Dan's just underneath the bus checking the gearbox oil, making sure that we've got enough gearbox oil to drive home. <laughs> the blue curtain coming in good use. Yeah. You go, he's a rag. Primo. Huh? Primo. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, um, yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> We've got an exciting new project. We've got a coaster bus that we are building out. 1991 Toyota Coaster, 1HZ, one six cylinder naturally aspirated diesel. Uh, normally a 21 seat, but this one's a 16 plus wheelchair. So we've got the wheelchair access door, which we're going to utilise in the build. I've, I've seen a few of these converted in my yeah. old days, you know. It's a bit, bit bigger, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It oh, is a yeah. lot bigger. Yeah. Today probably counts day one of the bus build. We're going to remove all the seats. Look at all the cool retro seats. They were in such good condition when we bought the bus. It's going to be actually quite sad to see them go. Because they're pretty cool. We're going to keep it a four-seater. So we're going to have the driver's seat, the passenger seat, and then these two seats here. But then we're going to remove all of these today. They come out easy. She's loose. She's free. So with a 12 mil ring spanner, we can undo that one under the heater core. Yeah. Um, so I'll give that to you okay. if you want to undo that while I get myself into position. Yep. Wow, so all the seats are now out of the bus. You really get a feel for the spice. <laughs> you really get a feel for it. <laughs> I know, some pretty flowers over here. 